Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Windows 98 Second Edition in VirtualBox. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to do is I'll need to download a Windows 98 Second Edition ISO, and you'll need to download the setup file for the VirtualBox Manager, and you'll need to install that. After that, you'll be taking a screen that looks similar to this, and you'll need to click the new button or control N to create a new virtual machine. For the name, we're going to set it to Windows 98 SE, well, Second Edition, and we're going to set the memory size to 128 megs, because that's in the sweet spot. Make sure the type of our virtual machine is set to Microsoft Windows, if it's not set to that. And the version needs to be set to Windows 98. There's no dedicated Windows 98 First Edition or Windows 98 Second Edition. It's just Windows 98 in the Virtual Box Manager. Then for the hard disk, we're going to set it to create a virtual hard disk now. And I forgot to mention, your layout may look like this in guided mode. We're going to press the expert mode button right here. And unfortunately, now it's just reset all of our settings. So I'm going to have to redo that real quick. All right, so now we're going to click Create. And we're going to set the file size, which is basically the storage size, to 4 gigs. Because that's a pretty decent amount for Windows 98 Second Edition. It's not too much or too less. It won't have any errors in the setup. And make sure the hard disk file type is set to VDI, which stands for VirtualBox Disk Image. And the storage on the physical hard disk needs to be set to Dynamically Allocated. We're going to click Create now. You'll be taking the screen that looks similar to this. So we're going to press the green start button. You'll need to wait a little bit for the virtual machine to load up. And then you'll have this window pop up right here. So it's going to say select a startup disk. And before you start it, make sure that it's selected it, which you can see here. The name is Windows 98 Second Edition ISO. For me, that is. And I'm going to click start. And then you'll have a window pop up like this. And I'm going to go to full screen mode by clicking the right control button on my keyboard and letter F. And I'm going to boot from the CD-ROM. And we're going to start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. We're going to wait a little bit. And it'll be taken in the Windows 98 setup. So I'm going to press enter. We're going to configure on allocated disk space recommended. So I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard again. We're going to enable large disk support since basically 4 gigs it was considered large disk support. It's large disk. We're going to press enter and we're going to make sure ISO is still inserted in the virtual machine. And you'll have to remove it basically manually, so it's going to be inserted. So we're going to press enter on the keyboard to reboot. We're going to select boot from the CD-ROM. And we're going to start Windows 98 setup from the CD-ROM. So we're going to press enter again. Wait a little bit. And it'll say formatting drive C. You can see basically 90, 100% of the drive is now formatted. And don't worry, it's doing nothing to your main hard drive and your main computer. It's all doing this to the virtual hard disk that you've created. So we're going to press enter on the keyboard to continue setup. And it's running Microsoft scan disk. Now we're taking it into the Windows 98 setup, the main setup with an actual decent looking UI. So we're going to click continue and it says it'll take 30 to 60 minutes to set up. We don't have that old technology here. It's going to take probably seven minutes at max. So we're going to select the directory as C colon backslash windows in all caps, which is a default directory. We're going to click next. It'll say preparing directory. So for this tutorial, we're going to have this set to typical installation and you can set your support well, compact or custom. Uh, we're going to set it to typical for this tutorial. We're going to click next. And for the setup, we're going to install the most common components recommended. We're going to click next. And for the computer name, we're going to have it set to the most random uh, letters and numbers that it has to offer. Now I'm kidding. We're going to have it set to Windows 98 SE dash VM. Hopefully it's not too long, but of course you don't need to name it Windows 98 SE-VM. You can name it to whatever you'd like because, of course, it's your virtual machine. And we're going to click Next. And lucky enough, that's not too long. We're going to set our region to the United States. We're going to click Next. Next again. And there we go. Now it's finished setting up everything and it's going to force us to restart our PC. So we're going to press Restart now and it's going to reboot the virtual machine. And we're going to boot from the hard disk. So we're going to select the first option. And there we go, now we're taken to the Windows 98 Setup Wizard. And of course you can name your name and company to whatever you'd like. We're going to hit enter on our keyboard or just click next. And we're going to accept the agreement, but we're going to click next. So I'm going to put in my product key real quick. And after you've put in your product key, just press enter on your keyboard and click next. So we're going to click finish. And it takes us back to the Windows 98 Setup. And there we go, it's finally finished. And of course it's going to force us to restart. We're going to boot from the hard disk now, so we're going to select the first option. And now it's going to say, please wait while setup configures the files, all that. So for the date and time, you can set yours to whatever you'd like. And we're going to set ours to Eastern Time, US and Canada. And we're going to click Apply to apply our changes. And we're going to click OK. And it'll say, finally, it's finished with the setup. It's going to make us restart our computer. We're going to boot from the hard disk now. So we're going to press Enter. And boom, now we'll enter a network password. OK, yeah, we're just going to press OK. 
you can you can put one if you'd like but we're just gonna click OK there we go it plays the startup sound and there we go start menu works as you can see right click menus work and pretty much Windows 98 second edition is now up and running on our virtual machine so thanks for watching this video I hope it helped you out please make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you thought in this video thanks for watching and hope you have a great day